What uh, interest rate would you want the car to be? Zero. Okay, obviously they're not gonna give you a car loan for zero percent. When you go to that car dealership, what do you want? Four percent! When do you want it? Now! What's up everybody? I'm Steven Fan Asia Man. And I'm Cherish. And welcome back to our channel, Our, our Fantastic, Fantastic Life. Life. Where we talk about fitness, finance, and fun. fun. So last week we talked about how we just started our debt repayment journey. Yep. And so we're gonna use a lot of Dave Ramsey's methods mm -hmm. and modified a little bit yeah we're gonna just kind of tweak it just a wee yeah. bit i watch dave ramsey every day i tend to agree with him on a lot of things there are certain things though i maybe not agree with and so one of the things that i don't agree with is he always talks about not getting back into debt which for future videos we're going to talk about good debt and bad, bad debt bad. so again if you haven't already smash that like button subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you yeah. don't miss any future video mm -hmm. about our debt repayment journey we got some good ones for you yeah. so the situation that we're in is we only have one car currently yeah. you know i was i'm working from home so i really don't need a car however though yeah. i just graduated Woo! Thank you. <laughs> Thank well, it was a long time coming, guys. It was a long time let's, coming. Let's be real. So, who knows? I don't know what the future is going to hold. I might end up having to get a job that requires me to drive. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of preparing for the possibility the that... Possibility. The possibility. The possibility that I... 70 chance 70, of cars. Yeah, I, there's a chance I might yeah. need to get a car. And so, there are certain financial tools that I learned back in my day in high school that I kind of want to show y'all. And apparently, though... You never learned about TVM Solver I, in high school, did you? No. They never taught us really. I mean, we had like what economics class, but they didn't teach us anything about like finance, right? Like anything ha that has to relate to like mm. interest, mm. paying things off. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. TVM okay. stuff. So today's topic is going to be all about TVM Solver. So today we're going to mainly focus on just calculating car payments and other things that are associated with getting an auto loan. Can you use like this TVM Solver for like student loans? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, like, you can use this for pretty much anything any, any that debt. Has to do. Oh, okay. Any, any debt. So debt. we're just going to use an example of a car. Which we need. Which we need. So we're going to go over mainly just car payments, but you can utilize this with, you know, a mortgage, student loans, mm -hmm credit card. So before we get into today's lesson about TVM solver and calculating the car payments and other things associated with a car, I got to ask, do you know how to calc or estimate the amount of loan or auto loan you would want to have? No. Okay. Uh, do you know how to calculate the interest that you would want on a loan? Don't they tell you the interest? Oh dear God. Do you know how to calculate how okay, long? Okay. How about we just assume that all of the answers are no. I got to ask then. If, if we weren't married, okay, and you're gonna go get a car, yeah, what are you gonna do? Like, are, are, are you gonna research? Are you gonna do anything before you get a car? Well, first I'm gonna ask my dad. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you're not married. Okay. Your parents are on the other okay. side of the country. Okay. They're exploring Antarctica. Uh -huh. What are you gonna do? Go. Uber. Dear God. Was that not the right answer? You know how much money you're gonna waste Ubering? When you can have your own car? Okay, well first I'd go to the website okay. and I try to find the best features of the car, like the outsides, the interiors, like the okay, roof. No, no. Oh, I like, you know, hold all on, of- Hold on, time out. Okay, okay. We're again, we are a finance channel, so uh -huh. I'm talking finance. Oh. What are you gonna do in terms of the finance of the car? Okay, well then after I do all of that, okay. I go to the very end where you says like check out and then I check out. You need this video. So this is what I want everybody to do the next time you go to the car dealership and you're looking at a car mm -hmm. and they, they start to give you numbers. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to verify those numbers or at least having like n the numbers in your head already. So that way when you get to the car dealership, you you're know more, exactly what to look for. Exactly. And you they're not going to dupe you with increased Do increased not interest. get duped. And I'm about to show y'all how some of these people will dupe y'all into getting a more expensive car with a ridiculous like interest payment. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Play Store or you're going to go into the, what's the called? App Store. Oh, the app store. That's what Apple it's people the call app it. store. I'm so sorry. I'm an Android guy. Don't hate me. <laughs> All right. So first thing you need to do, search for app. Just type in financial. I can't even spell. So financial calculator, and then you're gonna go to the one that says uh, finance. I guess the third one that's blue uh, that says Bishy News. Oh, by Bishy News. You're gonna. I already have it downloaded. So y'all are gonna download that. Then you're gonna click open. Okay. 
Type in TVM calculator. Which is, I think, is that the first one? Yeah, that's the first one. Which is the first one. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of go over these parameters real quick. Present value is what the car loan is worth today. Today. So if you get a car loan for 10, 15, 20, or dear God, $100,000 because you want to get like a Corvette Stingray or whatever it's called, okay? Whatever the loan, whatever you signed the mm -hmm. loan for, that is the present value. What you got the loan today. Payments, obviously, is how much you're paying each month. Future value is how much that loan is gonna be worth in the future. 99.999% of the time, you want the future down to be zero. When it's down to zero, it means that the loan is paid off, which again, we all want our loans and all our debts paid off. And that's the yes, reason why we started do. this channel, because yeah. we're on our debt-free journey. Uh, annual rate, so pretty much just how much the interest rate uh, they're gonna charge you. Period, and then periods is pretty much how many um, payments, how many months or how many payments. Months payments. Generally with the car payments, obviously it's usually 99.99% of the time, car payments are every month. And then compounding, again, just for simplicity and for, again, we're talking about car payments, keep it at monthly. Mode, I guess the easiest way for me to, I guess, describe mode for beginning or end is when is that loan due? So generally, you're gonna be it's gonna be the end because when you get a car loan, you're not gonna pay it like the first month that day. You're gonna pay it at the end of that month. So yeah, Correct. usually keep it on end. Decimal digits, keep it at two because mm -hmm. you know you can't pay in in three digit in cents. Thousands. Thousands. Yeah, you obviously it's in cents, so keep it at two. So before we get into the lesson, there's one thing I need y'all to know. So as you can see, you have five parameters. You got present value, payments, future value annual rate of return or annual rate percent in periods. In order to calculate one of the variables, you need the other four variables. So whenever you're calculating for say present value, you have to know the payments, you have to know the future value, you have to know the interest rate, and you have to know the periods. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're gonna do is calculate present value. So let's just pretend I got a job next week and I need to get a car because it's on the other side of town. So now we're gonna calculate how much car we can afford and we're gonna assume that there's no down payment because we're too broke to put a down payment. So we broke. We, broke. we so broke. <laughs> we so broke. We had no money. Let's just get into the lesson. We here. had we, no money. They get money. it, Sally. The first thing we need is let's estimate our payments. Or right, so cherish. If we're gonna get a car next week or at least mm -hmm. tomorrow, mm -hmm. how much would you want our car payment to be? 700. Se 700? Mm -hmm. Babe, like the average car payment's mm -hmm. like 500 or $550. This is one of those rare instances where you want to be below average. Oh, 300 then. 300. Okay, cool. I like that. I, I can deal with 300. So now we're going to do $300 car payment. Again, future value is always going to be zero when you're talking about debt because, again, you want to pay off your debt. All right. So what. Percent, but what uh, interest rate would you want the car to be? Zero. Okay, obviously they're not gonna give you a car loan for zero percent. But that's what I want. You can't have what you want. Can't I haggle with no. that? No. Okay. Give me five. Okay, give me something reasonable. What's our current interest rate then? Okay, well, our first car, because our credit was bad, it was about 7%. Okay. So let's just say our credit, our credit's just improved. So let's just say that- Five. Five, I like five, so. 5%. How long would you want to pay off this car? How many years would you want to pay off this car? Uh, three years. Okay, the three years. So again, this is compounding monthly. So if we want to pay it off in three years, you do three years, oh, so three times 12, because there's 12 months in a year. So the periods are going to be 36. So if we want to get a car right now, uh, it's $300. We got to pay it off. Interest rate is 5%, and we want to pay this off in three years. Right now, we could afford a car that's ten thousand dollars. It's not that great, but nope, again, it's a car. I just need a car that gets me from point A to point B. Now, let's calculate the payments. Let's just say I don't want a ten thousand dollar car. Let's just say I want a better car, a little bit more reliable. So let's say I want to get a fifteen thousand dollar car, and now I want to see the car payment, which is pretty much the title of this whole video. And again, future value is going to be zero. Instead of 5%, let's go with 6% this time, right? And then let's just say I don't want to pay it off in three years. I can wait a little bit. I mean, I, let's just say we could afford to pay it off in five years. So again, five years, 12 months in a year. So five times 12, that's 60 periods. So our payment would, would be, okay, $289.99. Oh, that's not 
that's more that's doable so with like, like the previous example either we can get a ten thousand dollar car and pay three hundred dollars a month for three years or we can get a fifteen thousand dollar car pay almost three hundred dollars and just pay it off for five years mm -hmm. so now let's calculate interest rate and let me show y'all because before we talked about how sometimes these car dealerships will try to dupe you in signing up for a car or with a ridiculous amount of uh, interest mm -hmm. so i had a buddy back in freshman year of college and we had just graduated high school. He had a beater car all throughout high school. We get to college, he kind of wanted to get a newer-ish car. And so we went to the dealership and he had his sight set on a Dodge Dart. And at the time, I think the Dodge Dart cost about $12,000. And he wanted to pay $375 each month for that car. So let's put 375. Feature value obviously is, is always gonna be zero. And he wanted to pay it off in three years. So at the time, the interest rate was, oh, I'm so glad that just happened. So, TVM solver or TVM calculator is associated with this equation. And in that equation, present value and payments have to have an inverse relationship, meaning that they have to have opposite signs. For example, if present value is positive, payments has to be negative. But if payments is positive, present value has to be negative. So remember, mm -hmm. present value and payments, they have to have opposite signs. So for in our example, present value is 12,000. So payments has to be negative. 375 and so now the interest rate is going to be okay 7.81 percent that's a decent interest rate i would say at least even for like a uh, just a newly graduated high school student that's a freshman in college and i remember we were there he test drove the the dodge dart and then somehow they convinced him to drive a better newer car and i believe it was the dodge avenger and I remember because the Dodge Dart, it was kind of a piece of junk, even though it was like a newerish car. And then he test drove the Avenger and man, thousand percent nicer than the Dart. So he kind of kind of got sucked in to the Avenger, right? And so they started giving him all these numbers. And I think at the time, the Avenger, right, was about $25,000. And they're like, you know what? You want to make a car payment about three seventy five, dollars right? But what if you just pay just a just a little bit more just a hundred dollars more a month and our it was like 4.99 but they were just rounding down so they're like what if you just pay an extra 100 dollars, right but and then they just glossed over the 84 month part right sometimes you start to rationalize well originally i wanted this number but an extra what hundred dollars really was 125 mm -hmm. You know, maybe not that big of a deal, yeah. but it is a big deal because you're paying an extra $125, right? but for five more years than you originally wanted to. And look at this, the interest rate, 16%. And I remember mm. we were in the, I guess in the dealership, you know, you were in the little, their little office right. and you know, they were completely glossing over the fact that it was 84%. I remember I whipped out my calculator and I, and I did this and I started calculating and I'm the type of guy I don't like confrontation, especially with car salesmen. And I just remember as they were kind of negotiating, I did all the numbers, I, I turned to him and I go, I pointed it to him and I made him realize, you know what? This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We just walked out, didn't tell him why. We're just like, you know, we're really not that interested in a car anymore, but thank you. So again, I want everybody, whenever you're going to get a, sign up for a loan, I want y'all to whip out this TVM solver calculator. I want you to start calculating. And even before you even go to the dealership or even sign up for a loan, I want you to start estimating. So that way you don't end up getting duped or overspending. Because again, he wanted a $12,000 car, but then they ended up getting him to sign up for a $25,000 car and mm -hmm. having to pay it That's over ridiculous. what? Wow. 84 months, which is what, seven years? So, and every time that we've gotten cars, I've always whipped out the calculator too, yeah. looked at the budget. I maybe not stuck with the budget but hey mm -hmm. at least i didn't i guess in hindsight we didn't over over yeah. we overspent but we didn't over yeah. and you know to be honest i didn't really know what you were doing on the phone wait, like, what, wait, what before, you thought i was doing every time I, was, before we go into car i don't know you thought was, i was just texting somebody or just facebook yeah it? yeah no i check my numbers which is what y'all should do too Exactly. You can use this calculator for pretty much almost any loan. I would just use car payments to today, but again, it can work for a mortgage, which is a little bit more to the mortgage. And then you can calculate student loans. Well, then again, there's still a little bit more 
to the student loans. But also you can calculate this with credit cards, but then again, there's still a little bit more. But at least you kind of get, you get a baseline of how much, you know, the payments should be. Sometimes, let's just say you wanted that, uh, you wanted that $25,000 car, right? And you were, but you really wanted all right, a $400 payment and you wanted to pay it over instead of 84 months, let's just say 72 months, okay? 4.77%. So sometimes what you can do as well at the dealership is if you had these numbers already prepared, right? However though, the dealership was wanting to charge you 6%, right? Makes your payment go up to $414. And really you're not thinking it's that big of a deal. 14 times 72, that's an extra thousand dollars you're paying over the life of that loan. And again, there's a lot of things you can do with a thousand dollars. Again, we just mentioned Dave Ramsey, okay? First step, first baby step is to save a thousand dollars. If you already have your numbers set, right? And they're offering you six or five, sometimes you can haggle with them and try to get that interest rate down lower. And if they don't give it to you lower, well, cool. Just go to another dealership that will give you the numbers that you want. You are in control. Make sure you know what you're doing. There's nothing more a salesman hates than a person that knows their stuff. Unagi. Unagi. Every time you go to the car dealership, I want everybody, get this calculator, whip it out, calculate your numbers. Because you know why? Knowledge is power. Right now, are you more confident in walking into the car dealership, getting the numbers that you want, and getting and demanding the numbers that you want? Yeah. 4%, gosh darn it. When you go to that car dealership, what do you want? 4%. When do you want it? Now. I love the confidence, babe. I love it. Okay, what do you? Come at me, bro. Well, we're not getting a car anytime soon. Oh, just just I know. calm down. Sorry. We're not getting a I car. Just, sorry. Again, I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. Mm -hmm. I hope none of y'all ever get duped. And I hope yeah. all of y'all are gonna be prepared for any time you ever sign up for a loan. Mm -hmm. So again, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. That would really help us out yeah. a lot. Click the bell icon because you are not gonna want to miss any future videos in terms of our debt repayment journey, in terms of setting up for loans. Mm -hmm. So the next video we're gonna go over is amateurization schedule, which really ties in to debt repayment. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. We'll see y'all next time. Pound it!